Let me see you take a shot. Oh, come on. <laughs> Knees up, guys. Come on, Ross. This is what I was telling you, Andy. Kid doesn't know when to quit. He has no understanding of the word respect. I respect people who deserve it. Don't challenge me, Malloy. You've seen me once in the last six years. Don't talk about me like you know Better me. Get that finger out of my face before it gets snapped off. Yeah, I saw you did that tree back there. Take it easy, Dad. Yeah, yeah, Ross. Especially if you're going to be holding the rifle. Andy! service. You better know what you're doing, Malloy. We're gonna have to go back and get help. Here, apply pressure around the wound. Keep him warm. I'll help make sure he doesn't go into shock. I'll stay with him. It's that way, to the east. I can find the way. I'm sure of it. I'll go with you. You're gonna be fine, Andy. Craig's got you. getting old. The least you could do is try a different note or something. It's okay. It's okay, baby. There they are. Oh, what is it? What am I doing wrong? You know, I had a critic tell me once that I project no warmth. I believe his exact words were, Jenna Moretti's emotional palette ranges from irritated to put off. And the only time she's believable as a human being is when she's playing a coma victim. You like that, huh? You think the horror stories of the Hollywood trenches are funny, huh? Well, you're in luck. Because there's plenty more where that came from. Let me tell you the story of the wicked agent from the West and his new blonde client and how he put her up for Jerry Maguire instead of me. Can't be more than a few miles back to the lodge. I shouldn't take them too long. You're not a lot like your old man, are you? I'm not sure not a lot of work, but that's such a good thing. Actually, it's essential. Relationships are the only things that make your life successful. Like what you got with your buddy Will there, or what you had, at least. I thought you didn't like Will. It didn't make a very good first impression, but you tell me. You know him better than I do. Would you trust him with the most important woman in your life? Hold on a second. Help. Hey. Hey. We're almost there. It's just a little bit further. I'm going to keep going. No, just, just, just let me catch my breath. You don't want to go running off through the woods by yourself. We gotta hurry. Don't be stupid, Malloy. We don't want another accident. We'll go together. The congressman is back there bleeding. I know. I just ever get tired of being such a self-righteous son of a bitch. Excuse me? Well, it's holier than thou attitude. You're just thinking about yourself. It's why people get hurt around you. Well, so you think this whole thing is my fault? Oh, it doesn't matter whose fault it is. Just as long as it's not yours. Nothing's ever your fault. I went to prison because of you. I went to prison because of you. Get over it. Get over it. There's only one way that I'm ever going to get over it. What do you want to do? You want to shoot me? Go ahead. I'll make it easier for you, but I'm not going to stand here and fight with you. Malloy! If you can't keep up, at least try not to hold me back. I know you usually don't have to stay after school late, but Daddy had to work. 
it looks like there was a lot of fun stuff to do there, games and other things. Probably more fun before the other kids went home. Listen, I'm sorry you're the last one picked up. You know, we're gonna have to talk eventually. When do you think we'll hear back about Peter's results? Actually, that's why I called. I already got them. Why didn't you say so? I wanted to tell you myself. Well, Peter's count was on the low end. It didn't fall outside the expected range. So that's good. See? I knew my boys could swim. <laughs> but um, when they ran the blood workup, they found that your white cell count was extremely elevated. And what does that mean? Well, a high count is typically a sign of infection. Uh, when it's over 40,000, that's usually a pretty clear indicator of malignant cell growth. Uh, wait a second. M malignant cell, isn't that... cancer? Wait. What? No. Well, well, that, well, that can't be. I'm sorry, Carla. It looks like leukemia. But we have to run a, a bone marrow test to find out exactly what we're dealing with. I felt a little tired lately, but I just thought that's because I've been working so hard. I, I never thought it could be cancer. I have cancer? No. No, you don't. I mean, re remember what you said that sometimes you're wrong. Well, maybe you're wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish we were. I do, but this time we're not. Catherine! Catherine! Will, what is it? What's wrong? There was an accident. Yeah, we need an ambulance immediately. Travis Woods, a man's been impaled, so there's a lot of blood. It's your father. Yeah, we can show you. Uh, meet us at the Clark Lodge. Hurry. You should be here any minute with help. I hear you got a little boy. Yeah. Henry. He's five years old. He's always getting into things. I bet he's tough. Girls are so much more vulnerable. I know you're always worried about Catherine. Oh, you have to with daughters. She seems to be doing pretty well. There should be a lot of bad choices in life. Oh, um, just the one. Well, maybe it's not as bad as you think. To be honest, Will is the person I always wanted to be when I grew up. You'd be damn lucky to have him as a son-in-law. <sighs> So tired. Congressman. Congressman. I thought maybe you'd feel like talking now. Look, I know I'm not very good at this. Honey, you all right? Does mommy hate me? Oh, no, Chloe, not at all. And when is she coming home? Uh, mommy and Daddy are trying to figure that out. Um, soon, I hope. Then she might not come back. No, she will. Listen, but for right now, it's just the three of us, okay? And I'm going to need all the help I can get because Noelle is so little that she's going to need her big sister. You think you can be strong for her? Thank you, Chloe. I love you. Love you, too. How about a hug for your old man? <laughs> 